Hi, this is Dave Barnett from LZ Tactical Lighting with our latest video blog. Today we're going to talk about electrical potting and what makes LZ Tactical Flashlights truly the toughest flashlights on the planet. And we often say, because it's true, we're not just a little tougher than other flashlights. LZ Modular Flashlights are orders of magnitude tougher than any other flashlight on the planet. If you look at the drop specs, for example, of other flashlights, you'll see they often boast of a 1.5 meter drop test. That's less than five feet. If you look around, you'll see, for example, on YouTube, a video of Top Shot champion Dustin Ellerman taking an Elzetta modular flashlight up in a helicopter at 300 feet, throwing it out of the helicopter, lands on concrete, chips the concrete, and still functions perfectly. So how is it that Elzetta modular flashlights are this much tougher than other flashlights on the market? Well, there's a couple reasons that give us this level of incredible durability. The first one is the fact that we use solid acrylic optical lenses. And look back at video blog episode five to learn more about the advantages of optical lenses over mere reflectors and cover lenses. That's one key. But an even bigger key than that is fully potted electronics. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what that term means. What are fully potted electronics? Now to understand what electrical potting is and why it's so important, you need to understand the basic construction of a circuit board. Now here we're gonna get a rare glimpse of an LZ high output AVS head before it's been potted. And if you look in there, you can see the green fiberglass board. You can see a couple components on there. On this particular board, most of the components are hidden on the other side. But you can see the components there, little silver colored legs joining those components to the circuit board. Well, those legs are made of a solder of a tin alloy, very, very thin, something like this. As you can imagine, tin is not a strong structural metal, and something this thin certainly isn't going to be very strong. And when it undergoes an impact, extreme vibration or fatigue, it breaks that easily. So with those solder joints, as I just described, and that easy to break under impact, I broke it with my fingers with very little effort, you can see that in an unpotted condition, this is a very fragile device, as is any electrical circuit board that is unprotected. So enter electrical potting. Now, in our manufacturing process, this piece will then have electrical potting compound installed. And in short, the potting compound goes in as a liquid epoxy. It's poured in, flows around every component, every solder joint in a liquid state. Then with time and heat, it solidifies like concrete. In fact, think of electrical potting as pouring concrete around rebar on a miniature scale. While rebar made of steel on a long piece, you could bend it. But imagine trying to bend it after it's been set in concrete. You might say, you couldn't even get to it, let alone bend it. Exactly. And this is what an LZ AVS head looks like after the potting compound has been poured in and it's solidified. You can no longer see the circuit board. It's completely encapsulated in a hardened epoxy, and that epoxy is around every component, every solder joint, and is solidified, making the whole thing one solid mass that can endure incredible impacts, vibration, fatigue, and you no longer have to worry about this thin little piece of tin getting broken and destroying the entire device. Now, in addition to this extreme level of durability that the potted electronics give l of modular flashlights, they also have the benefit of hermetically sealing all of the components from the environment. Typical flashlights have O-ring seals to try to keep water and other fluids away from their vulnerable circuit boards. Well, while we still use O-rings on LZ modular flashlights, even if those O-rings were completely breached, if they failed, if you took them off, even if you disassembled your flashlight underwater, the electronics cannot be contaminated with water because they're completely sealed in this potting compound. With the extreme durability and complete waterproofing that potted electronics provide, you're probably asking yourself, well, why don't other manufacturers pot the electronics in their so-called tactical flashlights? Well, as you might imagine, Potting electronics is a time-consuming process, and most manufacturers aren't willing to invest that kind of time and cost into a feature that once the complete flashlight is assembled, a consumer can't visibly notice or appreciate the value of. At Elzetta, we've always had a very different philosophy. 
We employ golden rule manufacturing, and we always put the needs of our clients first. And just because you can't see the fully potted electronics in an LZ modular flashlight doesn't mean we're going to cut that corner. We build these flashlights with fully potted electronics, making them the toughest flashlights on the planet that you can use with confidence in the most harsh conditions, the most harsh environments, knowing that you can come out alive when things get tough. And fortunately for you, potting is legal in all 50 states.